Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm going to be making another really random meal today. I'm going to be making something with peppers and I have minced meat defrosting there. So I'm going to be making stuffed peppers because that is what I can think of. <laughs> um, I've never made them before, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to make them kind of like an Indian inspired spice on them, just like a Indian curry. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to adjust you so that you can see what I'm doing better. First thing I'm going to do is cut up an onion into little pieces because that is gonna be for the minced meat. Okay, my onion is prepared. Now I'm going to prepare my peppers. Um, I'm only going to do the red one and the yellow one because I don't really like the flavor of green ones, but I am going to use some of the green one to put into the minced meat. So it's peppery inside too. So I'm gonna cut the top off. I think this is how you do it. I don't know, okay, I'm just making this up. I looked at recipes, but I was like, I might as well just do it by myself and figure it out. <laughs> So let's cut this part out. I'm gonna just try and take as much of the white stuff inside out as I can because that is the part that you don't want to eat. So you put a little bowl, a pepper bowl, cute. And then I'll do the basically the same on the top as well. So I've got a little lid for it. So we have a little lid for the pepper, how cute, how cute. And then we'll do the same thing to the yellow one. Beautiful. They're doing good cleaning. So, any bits out of there and then this is basically okay. fine. So there we have the lid for the yellow one. And how cute. I'm oh, so excited to do that. I've never, I probably have never made stuffed peppers before. But yeah, those are ready to be done. Um, let's just clear up as we go so it's not so much work at the end. Just chopping up the green pepper so that I can put some of this into the minced meat when I cook it. Just gonna do it into little pieces. So, that is done. Now we're gonna move over to the cooker so I can cook, 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 okay? So bringing this over here so it's easier to sort everything out. I'm going to turn this on to a high heat and start cooking my onions. I'm going to use some spray oil. I don't know where it is, let me find it. I've put this on a high heat. I'm going to spray 10 sprays of this. Um, each spray is two calories, so hopefully it's not too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more for good luck. A few people were asking about this. This is the Flora Plant Goodness Sunflower Cooking Oil Spray and this one doesn't actually have any alcohol in it it's just got high e i don't know what that word is high high oleic high oleic i don't know sunflower oil that's all it says on the ingredients so all good there anyway this is heating up i'm going to let it heat up a bit more and i'm going to get some garlic in there because we all love some garlic Garlic is going in. Not a lot because I'm actually going to add more garlic and ginger. So there we go. Start cooking. It's a lot of onions, but that's fine. And then we need a spatula to just move it all around. When you are cooking onions, I have noticed that the oil kind of gets soaked up a lot and it kind of starts to stick more. Um, in that instance, I wouldn't add more oil, I would add bits of water just so that it, it's able to move around and it doesn't stick. Yeah. 
I have some basmati rice, which is lime and coriander flavour. So this is the one that I'm going to use to cook in the microwave and then I'm going to put it into the mince when, it, when it's cooked. As we're waiting for the onions and the peppers to soften, I'm going to add some cherry tomatoes to my blender. I'll leave a link to this. This is like my lifesaver in the kitchen. I love it so much. I'll leave it in the description of this video. I'm going to add about six cherry tomatoes in here. You can use normal tomatoes if you want, but I don't have any some of cherry tomatoes. Um, and then I'm just going to blend this up. I don't know how I would cook a curry these days because I just am so impatient. It's taking so long for these to cook and it makes me mad. I'm literally the worst person when it comes to food because I just want my food really quickly and these onions have taken ages. Right, they're nearly done, they're nearly done. We're not going to brown them fully, we're just going to make them super soft. Anyway, I'm going to blend these up. The onions they are looking beautiful so i am now going to add my minced meat which is defrosted So I just tasted that, it's super spicy, a little bit salty, so I am going to um, add in my rice, which I'm going to just add straight into here, because then I can add a bit of water, cover it, and then it will cook the rice, you know? So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, rice has been added, I'm just going to break it up a bit. So I've turned the heat all the way down. I'm gonna actually move it off the heat for a little bit because that's really hot still. Um, now I'm going to sort out the peppers ready for that to be put into them. So I have my dish here, which I'm going to... They do stand up. Let me just put some foil on the bottom, just in case. But first I need to blanch them, which I read is a good thing to do. So I'm going to try that. Uh, let's add that to you. So what they said is to add some salt and then add some water to this. I don't know whether I need to add it inside or I'll do it anyway. Um, I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and see what happens. It's just so that they cook faster. Also turn the oven on to 200 degrees. 
So I've put these in for one minute all together. Let's have a look. So they're a little bit softer, but they're not like as soft as I think they should be. So I think I'm gonna add them in one more time for 30 seconds and then see what happens. While all that is in the microwave, I'm gonna add some coriander to this, which is frozen coriander, because I don't have fresh coriander today. So I think I'm just doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm supposed to put cling film over it, which is probably why they're not getting soft. But let's try it now. See if that works. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Let's get these out and see if it made any difference. Another thirty seconds. Something is happening. It's just a matter of time. Thank you. Let's see. I feel like one more time and they'll be perfect. I'm okay. This is what the mix looks like. It is actually delicious. I just tried it. And I'm actually gonna add some cheese on it because I really want cheese. Mmm. Mm. That's nice. Okay, they are softer than they were, definitely. But I think that's fine. I think that is perfect. I'm going to empty the water out of here and then let me put these into here so that I don't fill them in the sink. Hot, hot. I'm going to use some foil to make like a bed on here. So that they stand up really nicely. This is how I've done it. Like this, so oh, they can sit in there. Looks like it's about this. Um, there's water in there. It's fine. That can sit there. That can sit there. Perfect. Beautiful. Now it's time to fill them. Soon would be better. I literally just have some mature cheddar which I'm gonna grate on top. I think cheese is just great with everything and it just, it would make this extra special. I'm so excited about this. Look, how delicious does that look? Can't wait till it goes in the oven. I'm gonna put it in for about 15, 20 minutes um, wait till the cheese gets nice and golden, bubbly, and I will be back in a minute. So, I have just come back to the kitchen and I'm about to get the food out. Hello. 
look. How delicious does that look? I'm actually quite shocked at how good it looks. Yeah. What would you like to eat? Would you like some of mummy's food? No I'm probably way. huh? No way. <laughs> Why not? Okay. We can what? It's so yummy. So I'm actually so excited. This is so cool. Um, I've never made these before, so I'm very shocked that it came out so yummy looking. Um, let's just break up the cheese a little bit. I put the lid on. It's so cute. So, this is my food. I am going to eat this now. <clears throat> Let me actually have a bite on camera. I'm going to have some of the red one because the red Red peppers are just my favourite. Mmm. 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 That is amazing. I'm going to eat this. I probably won't eat both of them because it's just a lot of food. But. I'm going to go and enjoy this. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh yeah, that's right. This is Saf's life. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, this is Saf's life.